Evening all. Um, I'll try and keep this short. Uh, I've already filmed it once, but it turns into a right rant and ramble. Allergies. That's what I'm talking about tonight. Allergies. Now, I'm in my 50s. So I was at school, should we say mid 70s to sort of late 80s. For the people out there my sort of age, how many people at your school had allergies? And I don't mean hay fever and that sort of thing. I, I, I mean food allergy type things. Certainly from my experience, none. Well, that's quite worrying. Because fast forward to today and everybody and his dog seems to have a peanut allergy or a dairy allergy or, well, you name it, isn't it, food-wise. Must be a nightmare for the restaurants. Must be a nightmare for the people as well when they eat out to know where they can eat safely. And I don't deny that these things exist. People obviously can be very very ill and, and some die especially with the peanut allergies that seems quite an extreme one but my question is where has it come from because it didn't exist when i was a kid to my knowledge um if it did it must have been so bloody rare it didn't get to the news so my conclusion it's what people are eating that's the only thing i can come up with it can't be an evolution thing because that takes generation upon generation to happen. Taking dairy, for example, you know, for thousands of years, man has lived on dairy products of some description, whether it just be the milk or the you know, byproducts. So it can't be evolution. It hasn't suddenly like snapped and you know suddenly we're allergic to, to milk and dairy products it's got to be what we're eating and the only thing i can think of is the additives that are in food nowadays fast food obviously is much more popular now than it was when i was a kid there wasn't takeaways when i was a kid um, apart from the local chip shop um you had to go into a big town if you wanted to find a, a, a Chinese or, or a kebab shop or something like that. And even they were pretty damn rare in the like 70s uh, and maybe early 80s. It wasn't until the late 80s they started to get a little bit more popular. But certainly in the village I grew up as a kid, in the school, nobody had allergies that I can remember. Certainly not food allergies. There might have been hay fever, but no food allergies. There was no overweight people. Obviously, people vary, but we were all what would be classified normal. Let's put it that way. Even the older generations within the village. I don't remember any really big people. So it's what's changed. It's what's changed in the last 20 years. And I think it's what they're putting in food. Which is rather worrying. Um, I enjoy cooking. I try to cook fresh. I try to be careful with what I do. I'm not paranoid about it. A little bit of anything doesn't do any harm. But, you know, just generally. I try to be a little bit cautious. But there is a move towards sort of the fast food type thing. You know, what's in the freezer? What can we just bung in the oven and feed to the kids? And it's the kids I worry about. If you get to my age and start eating rubbish, well, I mean, you know, what's, what's the difference really? <laughs> you might shorten yourself by five years. But if you start feeding kids from a young age this stuff, how is it going to affect them? And I really think a lot of this allergy lark is due to what they're putting in foods nowadays. I can't put it down to anything else. I really can't. I've thought and thought and thought on this subject. Um, and nothing else sort of makes sense apart from what we're consuming. So that's just my thoughts for the evening. Mainly, if you've got kids, careful what you give them. 
it's uh, it's the kids I worry about. Okay, guys, I'll see you soon.